Hi, uh, this video will demonstrate how to use the combined pay feature in Practica. Uh, to demonstrate that, I will use the Frutigas, a family which uh, I created prior to this video. If you want to see how it was done, you can watch our family creation video. So now I have a family of three, Bruce, Mary and John Frutiger. Uh, Bruce and Mary are husband and wife, so they are connected by the spouse relationship while John is their son, so is a parent-to-child relationship. I've created three appointments uh, with the family members and I have placed some treatment in the appointments. Now the treatment will be completed and thus the appointments will also be completed and then would be able to charge the family as a unit or as an entity rather than charging each individual patient. So what I'll do, I will now complete the appointments so go to Mr. Frudiger Bruce and complete this appointment. Save the clinical note. Close. Now complete the appointment for Mary. Complete. Close. Save. Uh, complete the appointment for John. Complete. And save. And now I have three completed appointments, none of them paid, so you can see unpaid, unpaid, unpaid uh, appointments. Uh, and I can go and check out how much money the family or the Frutigas owe the practice. So if I go to Frutiger Bruce appointment, I can see that today's total is $318. That's the treatment he, is, he, he had today. Uh, but overall, as I can see, his balance or the fees or the invoices which were, we, were issued to him are total $1,018. What it can only mean that he has some other treatment which hasn't yet been paid. So how do I find out what sort of treatment and when and how much it was? I can click on the patient, patient summary file, patient file, I can see in the summary there are three appointments which were not paid, so $120 on the 19th of the 6th, uh, $580 on the 20th, and $318 as of today, Friday the 19th of July. So altogether, uh, he owes us $1,018. So some for previous appointments, some for today's appointment, and uh, his other family members also owe us for today's appointment. So I can go and check with Mary. Mary owes us $100, and you know the overall total is $100. And John, $115 today, overall $115 today. Now, <clears throat> if we look at uh, the whole family situation, we can see that Frutiger Bruce owes us for three unpaid appointments. 580, 120, 318 altogether. $1,018. Mary owes us for one appointment, which is uh, has a value of $100, and John owes us $115 for a single appointment. As a family unit, as an entity, they owe this practice $1,233, which is a sum of the owing sums uh, of all the family members. And you can also see the relationships established between those family members, spouse relationships here, parent-child, parent-child relationship there. To make a payment, what I can do now, I can go to any family member appointment. So I'll go to Bruce and I will press the Combine Pay button. So when I press the Combine Pay button, I can see at the top uh, a table uh, the list of all unpaid appointments. So you can see that Bruce has one, two, three, Mary has one, and John has one. I can select the appointments I would like to pay. So I can select either all of them, or I can just choose, you know, those three or, you know, and other appointments. So I decided I should pay for all of them once. So I'm paying for multiple appointments for Bruce and also appointments for the whole family using the combined pay. So you can see there that uh, the overall overall owing sum is $1,233, as it was per our, per our diagram. So you can see there, that's, that's where 
$1,233 come from. And what I can do now, I can make uh, either a single payment or a couple of payments. I can pay cash and credit card in the combination. I can also use a high caps, by the way, too, if a high caps machine is, is connected, high caps terminal is connected to, to the system. So I'll press plus in the payments. And what I'll do, I will pay $1,000 in cash and then $233 remaining I will pay with the credit card. So I'll just pay $1,000 in cash as of today, 20th of the 7th, and say OK. And what you can see now in the combined payment section there to, at, at the top where the appointments are listed, uh, you see how the, the, the uh, paid sum is distributed between those appointments. So the first two appointments were fully paid, and whatever was left, $300, which was left from, from uh, you know, after paying the top two appointments, uh, that was paid towards this third appointment. And it's still $18 balance remaining on that appointment. But overall, the family owes us $233 now. So I will just make another payment using the credit card, Visa, uh, $233. And say OK. Uh, I don't know, I can use Visa, which has a surcharge, or I may use probably American Express, which probably doesn't have a surcharge, or MasterCard. Well, they all do have surcharge, so it's okay. So, $5 surcharge will also be added. Okay. So, you can see the $5 surcharge was added on the card, and which was also distributed between, between those uh, uh, appointments over there. So, you can see now that all the appointments were paid. You can see that the overall balance owing is zero and if I say now OK you will see that each appointment now uh, each of those three appointments is paid so that appointment paid that appointment paid and that appointment paid and also you may see that Bruce now owes us nothing so this appointment is nothing and the overall total balance is nothing as well zero if we go to his patient file you can also see that all of his appointments were paid so his balance is zero, he owes us no money. That's the amount he has paid for the treatment uh, he received. So uh, this is what was issued to him and this is what, what was, was paid. So uh, like this, using a single transaction or couple of transactions in our case, we were able to pay not only for all the family members, but also for any outstanding uh, amount uh, a patient may have had. 